Hey, JT Whitman. I work at Avery Dennison as a project manager, and I own a timing company with this guy called Great Lakes Race Timing. JT also. I'm the good looking one. I work for uh, Sears as a market manager, and uh, I own a race timing company with him as well. How'd you guys meet? Uh, so, a couple years ago, I was actually really overweight. I weighed about 100, 100 pounds more than I do today. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I started running to, uh, to really try to be able to spend more time with my kids and my family uh, as they grew up. And I, I was running with a local running club, and this dude uh, showed up one day, um, and he just decided you, to... You kind of, so he constantly uses this whole, I was overweight, and I've overcome so much, and my family, and my children. <laughs> I, on the other hand, was actually in a car accident. Fender accidents. Bender. Fender Bender. Either way, it gets to some things like this. So, I was in a car accident. Car flipped seven and a half times. I was thrown out the side at 70 miles an hour. Uh, life flighted twice. Um, a lot of surgeries. Almost paralyzed. Uh, went to the same running club as this guy. Found out we were training for uh, Boston. Uh, both of us trying to get there, so we decided to train together. I like to leave him in the dust, um, and then I call him Push the Pace JT. Yeah. So. yeah, he leaves me in the dust until like mile 20 of a marathon, and then uh, he, that 10 minute lead I he had built up. I feel bad gets, gets because we train together, <laughs> and then I'm so far ahead of him, I'm like, ah, I should probably slow down so that when we finish together, we can walk through the finish line together. So, if that makes sense. Uh, so one thing that really stands out for us, I think, than, than a lot of other people is not only do we have full-time jobs. We you run got 27 own, kids. We, I was going to get there. I got four <laughs> kids, um, all under the age of seven. Um, we run our own company. We, we train constantly 50 to 80 miles a week. Um, we just do all kinds of crazy stuff. And now, you know, one of the things we get asked or we've been asked is how are you going to manage, you know, this running show or being on this reality show. I think it'll be a no-brainer. It'll be easy. We're already so used to having this much time. Um, that I think it'll be a minimal. relaxing. It'll almost be a vacation for us. So a normal day is I get up at about five, uh, start getting the family ready. I got a couple of kids myself, a wonderful wife, and uh, two, now Suck not up. 14. Sorry, he's sucking up right <laughs> um, now. And uh, so I, I get help. We get everybody off to school. We get, get everybody ready to go to work. I cram some running in during lunchtime. I come home. I'm working on stuff for the for Great Lakes race timing, and I normally get to bed around 11 or 12. So, yeah. and on top of that, I mean, one thing that we really bring to the table, and I think is an advantage for us, is our physical ability. So this show is all about being physical and the challenges and being able to navigate. And one thing is, we joke about it. He's very, very smart. Um, not only book smart, but street smart. I only bring street smarts to the equation here, but that's and good that's, enough. Uh... No, that's good. Trust me. Like, the book smarts, I don't read so good. Um, but uh, no, the, the the one thing that we bring is, is just our, our competitiveness. So I, I hate to lose at anything. I mean, yeah. if it involves me tying my shoe faster than this guy, I'm going to do it faster than him. Um, if it involves me racing my kids, I don't even lose my kids and it makes nope. my wife very angry yep. <laughs> um, but we're very competitive the hardest thing I think that would be for me and I'm gonna speak for him would be being away from our family Absolutely. for a month but uh, they're both very supportive we're all very close our wives are I'd actually friends. have no problem being away from your family for a month I have no problem being away <laughs> from yours either but my family personally I'd be gotcha, uh, gotcha. Yeah, it'd be tough um, but you know that's the one thing that I think would be the toughest for us um, but the, the competitiveness and the fact that we don't want to lose and we already run and I drive a lot for work since I travel through three different states so navigating through the United States and using his brain and then uh, my good looks can't go wrong right I think we're good the right. easiest part about this competition for us is going to be the the endurance side of it being able to go out and run we log in marathon training we'll get up to 80 90 miles a week um, so we're used to putting a toll on our bodies. With... And we're not talking like 80, 90 miles a week where you're looking at, you know, 10, 11, 12 minute mile pace. We're talking most runs are averaging under 630 mile pace. Um, and our easy runs are usually, you know, 645 to 7. So our bodies are used His to... His is. I... <laughs> our bodies are used to just taking that pounding, making sure they can handle it, staying hydrated, all that stuff. I, th I think that'll be no problem. Um, and also just the partnership we have. So not only have we become very good friends, um, and I can't usually become good friends because I'll be honest, I'm kind of an asshole. Um, so most really, people, really an asshole. Yeah, so most people have a problem just sitting down talking or getting to know me. And since he's an asshole too, it, it works well. Um, so I think the partnership's another added strength we have there. Yeah, the, the biggest challenge that I see is just missing the family. Uh, being away from home for that long. 
long is going to be really difficult. Um, I agree. It's going to be like a vacation. Yeah. It's going to be like a vacation. The other <laughs> part, bit, the other really part and we already talked about it, is we're going to be on camera constantly. Yeah. Um, so on yeah. long runs, we tend to talk about a lot of things. And, and we don't always have the most uh, clean language or yeah. content. So, yeah, so we got to remember uh, our wives are going to watch this show. <laughs> Um, so probably, you know, tone it down a little bit. And uh, they won't be able to air most of it either. Yeah, it's like, sure. so, <laughs> so you'll have the team winning and you can't even show footage of them, so that'd be bad. Um, yeah, I think that most challenging. I'd agree. As far as the planning and getting everything ready, I, I'd say I'm more the detail-oriented one. Uh, yeah. um, I'm a little bit more of a planner, which is weird because... Um, in his line of work, he's got to be much more by the books and regimented about how he approaches things when he's he's interviewing people for theft in, in his company. Um, where me, I'm I'm going after stuff and I'm trying to get people to make make decisions fast and I'm trying to get them to uh, just try new things. So I'm I'm just getting them to go out on a whim and try something new. So it's kind of funny that I'm more detail oriented when we're coming up with plans and. And uh, trying to figure out how to how to get things done. Yeah, I, I love to work under the pressure. Um, so if I need to plan something out, and I, we've had to do it a couple times where I've come up with detailed outlines that work out well, but I would rather much be okay. This is due Friday. Um, okay, Thursday night, I'll get it done on, by Friday, and it's going to be just as good as somebody who started it two weeks ago. I just thrive under that pressure. Um, and I think it is weird because, like JT said, um, with my job, um, which is an awesome skill set that I can bring to this competition as well, is I investigate thefts that are happening in our company. And it's not just in one building, it's in multiple buildings throughout the United States. Um, so it's one of those things where I can really sit down and kind of look at the clues and start figuring out what went missing, where it's going, who's doing it, um, and then having him in the background to help put those pieces together. I feel like, I I feel like you'd be like the there's something about Mary where you're like slamming heads into the table and stuff like that. Does, well, is that yeah, really what I, happens? Or? I'm not allowed to discuss that. Okay. If we're not rolling, we can talk about that. Okay. That would be bad. But no, I don't do that. Um, it's all by the book. You know, I just sit them down and talk to them and investigate them. But, so. <laughs> Well, I think first and foremost, we take care of the. I know we would money, take care right? of the kids. Uh, I'm assuming we're okay. winning the money. Well, we're it's, going to win the yeah. money. We're, so we don't lose. Uh, take care of the kids' college. Make sure that the you know the bills are paid off. Take care of the mortgage, and then you know whatever's left goes right back into the company so that we can continue making it thrive. Our uh, <laughs> Our, uh, our slogan is all for our company is about making the best race experience for runners at all levels. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is to keep investing in it. Yeah, so I, I can't argue with him. I agree with him for the first time in a long time. Um, family first, four kids, um, takes care of like two or three of them for college. So I still got to keep working for that fourth one. Um, you know, it is what it is. But now nah, family first, always uh, take care of that, the wife, the mortgage. Not any leftovers, like JT said. That company is... Uh, that's what I'm hoping one day will be the full-time job, um, and, and it's the thing that we're striving towards, and we're trying to make it that way. And then the ultimate goal for me, and I'm pretty sure JT's on board with it, and our other business partner as well, is not only make it the full-time gig, um, but make it successful enough to where our kids can then take it over, yeah, um, and it can stay in the family. All of our families are very close. We all hang out together. Um, our kids are all friends, so I think that's yeah. the ultimate goal. Yeah, I think that's what one of the best things about us having the friendship and then having it turn into a business as well like our, our wives are at a playground with all uh, all six kids right now um and so getting to getting to spend more time with them uh would be nice yeah. it'd be nice to be with them at the playground right now yeah, it so. would be. but uh no I, th I think that's the biggest thing and, and yeah. yeah all right i'm jt lost 100 pounds met this guy while running for a local running club yeah you sure did i asked you to run with our race team too that's true i'm jt as well um i know that gets confusing for people so when you want to talk to the handsome, um, more athletic one, just say JT with a little more enthusiasm, and I'll know it's me. Um, you want to talk to the one that wound up in a pond? Yeah, car accident. Um, almost took me out, almost paralyzed me, but I'm back. Met this guy at, at a local running uh, group also. Um, we started a race timing company. We both got families, four kids. Two kids. Two kids, two beautiful wives. Make sure they hear that. Um, <laughs> and just uh, probably two of the most competitive guys you'll ever meet. We both ran in the Boston Marathon. Both did very well, finished in the top 2%, I think. Might have been 1%, 1%. top 1% um, in some shitty conditions, pardon my language, but it was miserable. Uh, and just uh, we're, ready, uh, we're ready to kick some butt. So once again, I'm JT. I'm JT. And we're, we're going to catch, catch that runner. runner.